Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to sort data in Microsoft Excel 2007. In front of me here, I have a spreadsheet that has statistics from the NFL season. And you can see we have a lot of data presented in numerous different columns. Uh, the data starts, well, we have a ranking here, but it really starts with the team name, games played, points per game, etc. And there are a lot of different options that you have in Excel to sort the entire set of data according to any given column. We'll show you how to do that here. First of all, what I want you to do is go over and right click on any one of these cells that represents a column that you want to sort by. So for example, I'll go to total points. And when I do this, I'm going to right click on one of these cells. Once I right click, a context menu comes up, and you'll see about halfway down the context menu, one of my options is to sort. And when I mouse over the sort, a secondary context menu will come up, and that'll give me some options there for different ways that I want to sort. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to select sort smallest to largest. And you'll notice now what it does is it takes all the data here, and it sorts it from the row that had the, the lowest total points all the way up to the row that had the highest total points. Now notice first of all that when it did that it took all the data in the associated columns and it sorted it as well. So basically it's going to look to find any data that it sees as being part of the same data set and it's going to sort all of it. So when we sorted the total points and we came up with the San Francisco 49ers as having 219 points at the lowest then it also showed us the exact data that that coincides with San Francisco 49ers in the rest of these columns as well. Also, when you go to sort, sort it smallest to highest or highest to, to smallest, it will do, use that data to sort either numerically or alphabetically. So, for example, I'll click, click on column B here, which is the team column, and I'll right click on that and I'll go over to sort. And this time, notice it says sort A to Z or sort Z to A. So I can sort these alphabetically in ascending or descending order. Now let's go through some other options that you have here as well. I'm going to go here and right click on the cell again and go over to the sort menu. And notice here you have put selected cell color on top. Now the one that I chose here is, let me go back and change this here. I'm going to choose one of these green ones that I have. And I'm going to right click, choose sort, and choose selected cell color on top. And notice when I do that, it sorts it so that all the, all the rows that had a green in this column are now sorted to the top, and all the white rows are at the bottom. I can do it with the text color as well. So if I go here and I right click on this cell and go to sort, and this time I'm going to select put selected font color on top because I had selected something that had a red font. And when I do that now, all the rows that had a red font in this column are at the top of the list. And all the ones with black are at the bottom. I'll show you a few other options here as well. I'm going to right click again and go back to sort. And from here, I'm going to go to custom sort. Now this allows us to add a very high degree of detail to the way in which we're going to sort these columns. First of all, notice that we have sort by points per game because I had right clicked in the points per game column and it had sort on font color because that's the last thing I sorted by. So I can say no, I want you to sort on the values and this time I want you to sort largest to smallest. But sometimes you want to have a secondary or tertiary sorting option as well, because if two or more cells have the same value, sometimes you want it to go to a second or third column to sort it. So in this case, we can add a level. When I add a level, you can see first it's going to sort by points per game on the values largest to smallest. And then I can say instead, if, if you tie, if you have two values that are the, the same in points per game, then sort by team and sort by A to Z. So in this sort, what it will do is it will sort everything from the largest points per game to the smallest points per game. But if two or more teams have the exact same points per game, 
it will sort them alphabetically by team. And I click on OK, and it goes back, and now it's sorted here by points per game, largest to smallest. And notice that here we have the Carolina Panthers and the Miami Dolphins. They have the exact same points per game. But the Carolina Panthers came out on top because I told it that as a secondary sort, I wanted it to use the team column and to sort it alphabetically. And because Carolina comes before Miami in the alphabet, Carolina was put on top of Miami, even though they had the exact same value in points per game. We'll go back there and show some other options again. I'm going to right-click on here and go to Sort, Custom Sort. And from here... Now, first of all, I added, this, added the second level. I can remove this by clicking on Delete Level. And now I'm only sorting by a single value again. I also have the option over here that says My Data Has Headers. Notice that every time I sorted, it sorted all the values, but it kept this top row in its place because that top row is a header, and you don't want that sorted in the middle of all the other values. But you can get rid of that. For example, here I can say Sort These Alphabetically, and I can go to sort, custom sort, and I can uncheck the my data has headers checkbox. Notice what happens to the selection behind me as I do this. When I check this, the top row appears un unselected. And when I check it, now it is selected. So I'm going to go ahead and sort, sort by column B alphabetically and click OK. And now see what happens is that our head, our row of headers got sorted down in the midst of all the data. Now of course that's not really what we want to happen when you have a table of this format, but you do have the option to denote a certain table as having no headers and that way it will sort all the data by default. And one more time I'm going to right click here, click on sort, custom sort, and when I do this, this time I'm going to click on Options. And clicking on Options gives me a few other chances to affect the way things sort. First of all, I can make things case sensitive or not. By default, it's not case sensitive, which means, for example, if I'm sorting alphabetically, all the A's will be treated as the same, as opposed to if I click on case sensitive, what will happen is the capital A's will come up first in the sort, and the lowercase A's will come up second. And also, I can choose to sort left to right instead of top to bottom. Usually, usually you're going to be sorting top to bottom because you have a table that looks like the one I'm dealing with now. However, if you had your headers over here in the first column and you had all your data over here to the right, then you could sort things left to right rather than top to bottom. That concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using showmeacademy.com.